Okay, so Adam, where are we from the last time that... Uh, working with a completely different tail section. She wasn't feeling the other one. It was, uh, I don't know, she wasn't feeling it. Nothing was really clicking with it. And so I followed it out some more, redesigned it. And then these things, I'm going to cut there. I'm going to drill a hole there and fasten them to there so they'll be like coming up to there. Alright. So I'll cut as much as that. So those will be like up there on either side so they should be compact in there. that sea foam stuff that I, that I put in uh, the tank to clear out, clear out the fuel system. Mm -hmm. It's this additive and it's supposed to clean everything out really good and, and it does, it does to the point of um, if you have a, a gasket that's, that's uh, in it or if it's about to blow or something, if, it's, if it is blown it's just being clogged by carbon buildup or particles or something like that. The sea foam will let me away, and so it'll start uh, leaking when you have a blown gasket, which is what happened. Um, which is kind of good because it actually reveals if you have weak gaskets. Because if all your gaskets are good to go, you can you can use that stuff and put it in. Put the stuff in, and then it started uh, found the weak spot, I guess, and it came through. And so I'm gonna do the head gasket now. I'm sure where's the head gasket pointed out. Uh, down here. It's right in between here, and if, I don't know if you can pick that up, but see how it's kind of it's dry here, and down here it's like oily, like greasy and stuff, see that? Like I can wipe here and it's nothing, right? But there, it's all oily. And uh, right in between there, there's where the head gasket is, that's where the cylinders go up and down here. Mm -hmm. And this is the upper part of the motor, is valve train, and all the spark plugs go in, the valves in there. But, uh, yeah, this whole this whole top part is gonna have to come off, and then I'm gonna have to clean off the gasket, put in a new one, and bolt the shit back on. And the process paint this black. See, this is painted. This is what it what it is. It's supposed to be semi gloss, and this is the old stuff. So this will look like that. the uh, custom tip I put on the front of the fender. You can see the uh, point on it. It just used to be round and round and I cut it back about, about that far. Now it'll have a cool point at the front and it's chopped back a bit. Yeah, there's the helmet uh, Remy for when you watch this. I'm gonna... It's funny, everything's all red and everything's going black. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll paint that semi-gloss just like the like that. There's a little visor that uh, goes on the front, but I think it looks, looks kind of cool without it. His slippers, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, his slippers. This is what happens when you have yeah, the backyard uh, bike built. You gotta spin these things appropriately so they fit out. There go. Okay, I got it. Bring Adam's got your muffler in his hands right now. So this is this isn't uh, <laughs> this didn't come from the factory. This piece. No. Originally, uh, they had it was dual exhaust. I don't know if you can see that. It is caked on pretty good. <laughs> 